So today on my video blog, I'm going to be having a look at yet another one of Gigabyte's new lineup of P55A motherboards. Now, the key improvement that they've made with the P55A series is that it features their 333 onboard acceleration. That means they've got USB 3.0, Power 3X, which means that all of the USB ports are able to provide three times the specified amount of power, and it also has SATA 3.0 or SATA 3, which is actually SATA 6 gigabit per second in terms of speed. Now, let's just clear some junk out of the way and let's get this board open. As with all of their um, recent boards, recent high-end boards, it does feature Ultra Durable 3, which is their two times uh, two ounce copper PCB. Now, let's just have a quick look at the accessories. We've got the IO shield. Okay, we've got an IDE cable and two SATA cables. Then we have the manual as well as an installation CD for the drivers the Smart 6 user's manual, as well as the multilingual installation guidebook. And we have a paper divider in the middle and an anti-static bag featuring the UD3 motherboard. Now the UD3 is the lowest end out of the P55A boards that are on the market right now, but it does still have most of the key features. The big one that's missing is SLI support. So although you can see we've got an ATI Crossfire X logo here, you do not have support for SLI in these PCI Express ports. Now let's go around and do a quick rundown of the board itself. So you've got your CPU socket in the middle. You've got what appears to be, do, 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 do. well, it looks like four or six phase power. I can't tell, but I'm just going to keep rolling with this. Then we've got our MOSFET heat sinks, which are up here. Okay, we've got support for the usual four DIMMs of DDR3 memory. The power plugs are in their ideal locations with the 8 pin up at the top left and the 24 pin over on the right hand edge. Okay, now in terms of SATA, this is where this board starts to get interesting because you can see here we've got six SATA 2 ports and these are running off of the Intel chipset. And then right here, running off this Marvel chipset right here, we've got two SATA 3 ports. So for a total of eight SATA ports, and these ones are running at six gigabit per second. So that's really gonna start to make a difference with the new generation SSDs that are gonna be coming down the pipe. Although we do have the Barracuda XT already available, which is a six gigabit per second compatible magnetic hard drive. Okay, so before we wrap this up, I just wanted to have a quick look at the IO panel. So first of all, you've got one of those PS2 combo ports. I love these. They'll accept either a USB or a keyboard, a USB or a keyboard, a mouse or a keyboard. Then we have one, two, three, eight USB 2.0 ports. We've got our digital audio. And then these blue ports down here are USB 3.0. So that runs at five gigabit per second, much, much faster than the old USB 2.0 standard. I mean, with these, you'll be able to max out any current hard drive in terms of sustained reads and writes without worrying about any kind of bottlenecking. Very cool. Then we've got a gigabit LAN port as well as a 7.1 audio out. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and quick overview of the Gigabyte P55A UD3.